we went from this to this, from this to this. Don't tell me that's not a huge difference, guys. All right, guys, welcome to this color grade challenge. So I'm going to be color grading like Loki. OK, if if you've ever watched the series, the show on uh, Disney Plus uh, called Loki, uh, you should if you haven't yet, it's a good um, series. It's a good um, show. OK, very good. I love the color grading in that series. So I'm going to attempt to color grade like Loki. And as usual, I'm going to include the Loki lot under the description. It's going to be included with the eight lots that um, are down there. So just download the eight lots and this Loki lot will also be in there. And the lot from last week's um, color grade challenge from The Witcher is also going to be there. Free lots, guys free lots so you get the eight lots plus these two lots so the loki and the witcher so i love loki and i noticed a few things while i was looking at the color grade i didn't notice this when i was watching the thing as you can see i've watched um all the episodes okay so amazing guys i felt bad when it ended because um it was just amazing anyways so the color grade i noticed in loki is um um they have vignette in this um, series here, okay? When you look closely, when you're watching this show, you're gonna notice the vignette, vignetting in the sides here. They slight vignette, you can't see it unless you're looking for it, okay? I don't know, maybe it's just my screen or my um, player here, but I noticed vignette in a lot of these scenes from Loki, guys. If you look closely when you're watching Disney or when you're watching this show, you're going to see they have a lot of it has vignette in the sides here. So that's one thing I'll be adding to the color grade. OK, I'll be adding the vignette in there. And uh, as you can see, this picture is more like subtle, more greenish, if you will. OK, uh, it's not too an orange. This is more greenish, if you will. So. I'll be color grading scenes from this clip. So I just chose this um, sequence here. That's what I'm going to be color grading. I'm going to make my wedding film look like this here. OK, now you can apply this color grade to whatever you're working on, but I do wedding. So I'll apply this to um, some clips from a wedding right off the bat. I'm going to tell you that everything when you're filming a movie or the lighting all the you know everything is designed to look that way everything is controlled in this room the people in the back here the lighting here that lighting there or that lighting there everything is controlled guys so let's start with the color grade okay i don't want to hold you up too long like i did with the last um color grade challenge i'm going to try and make this quick okay guys nice and quick so let's get started so i already have um two clips here from um two screenshots here from the thing from the movie or the show, the series, whatever you want to call it. So I have this one here and I have this one here. OK, so we're going to go with that. We're going to color grade like these two clips here. OK. This is how the original clips look. As you can see, let me play it. It's a wedding film, guys. So we're going to we're going to want to make it go from this to that so from this to that okay so let's get started so uh the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to be working on the adjustment layer so that way um all the effects are applied to the clips underneath this adjustment layer if you don't know how to um bring an adjustment layer up all you do is you go to your um project window here you know project and then you click on a, an empty spot. You could do this another way, but that's, this is how I do it. I've been doing this for a while. So this is how I'm used to doing it. So uh, we right click new item adjustment layer. It comes up and just click OK because the settings are going to be the same to your um, sequence here. So you just drag this in here and you spread it out. OK, that's adjustment layer. That's how you bring it up for you guys who don't know how to do this. Um, I'm not going to assume everybody who's watching this knows everything, right? Because when you assume, you make an ass out of um, you and the person. <laughs> anyway, so let's go. So this is adjustment layer here. 
So what we're going to do now is um, we are going to start with the color grade from this to this, from this to this, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is adjust my layer. And um, right off the bat, I notice this is more greenish. Okay, it has that greenish look in here. So we're going to go here to the tint and go green. Probably like, for now, we're going to do 30%, okay? 30% green. And then um, I notice the highlights are more low here. So highlights go low on the highlights. Subtle, you know, so we'll do 50%. Okay, and then um, whites, we're going to do 50% of this as well. Even though these two scenes are different, this is like kind of nighttime-ish. This whole TVA building is more like, this is like underground kind of thing looking. So this was shot during the day. This was like in a night scene kind of thing. But I'm going to make try and make it look similar, okay? So here we go. Um, okay. And um, another thing I'll do is bring down the shadows. Just a pinch, probably 15 for now. Okay, um, I'm not going to touch the blacks. Um, saturation, go down some, probably like 90. Okay, it's already kind of looking similar to Loki here and there. Okay, contrast, go up some. Probably like 40. Okay, 40. 40 on the contrast. And then we're going to go down to the creative and then we're going to go um, faded look because this looks kind of faded. Okay. That film look faded, probably give, put it to, we'll say 20% is good. Okay. Already kind of looking like low key ish. Okay. Looking low key ish. Okay. Yeah. Kind of looking low key ish, <laughs> low key ish. And um, sharpen, I usually don't touch this. I usually don't touch this thing here. This looks a little bit sharp, but I don't touch this. So I'll probably bring it to, we'll say a little bit, maybe five. Yep, sharp five. And then uh, we're gonna go to the vignette down here. And uh, yeah, so this is a little bit tricky. I gotta see the whole thing. So vignette amount. Okay, so this goes to white, that goes to black. So of course we wanna go to black. We'll probably stay here for now. Midpoint, midpoint, um, nah, kinda like right here is good-ish. Roundness, we have to go out more. Yeah, we'll just leave it like this here. Feather, uh, okay, this is like that. Probably like right here-ish. Let me go to another clip. Let me go to this clip so I can see the vignette properly. See how it just, it's just subtle vignette in there. So you can see the subtle vignette in this clip if you're watching the movie. So such a subtle vignette, I like that. Okay, and um, I think that's good. So I think that's low key-ish. So now, um, yeah, I think that's good, guys. I think this is kind of good here. But uh, let's see what else we can do here. Let me see that other clip from Loki. From Loki himself. Let me try and add some, uh, let me see, exposure. No, go down some. Negative two is good here. Contrast, just a little bit more. Shadows, um, it depends here. Uh, let's see. Cause this might look good on this clip, but might not on the next clip. Okay. Okay. So I think this is good. This is kind of low key ish. So now what you want to do? Yeah. See, it's kind of low key ish. So what you want to do here now is hold on. Let me see with the fades here. Let me see with the fade. Yeah, that's good. 30. 30 is good. Okay, there we go with the fade. So see, this looks more low-key-ish, okay? This, I love this, looks more low-key-ish. 
Okay, so when you um, click here on the view, see, we went from this to this. Don't tell me that's not a huge difference, guys. We went from this to this. So I think that's perfect, guys. I think this is perfect. So now I would end the color grade here because it's done. But what you want to do too is go to the individual clips. Okay, because now all the edits, all the editing was being done on this adjustment layer here. That's where all the editing was done. And with that being said, let me go here and I'm going to um, just um, save this slot for you guys. So export cube and I'll name it Loki lot. Okay. Loki lot. So this is going to be in the description below. If you guys want this um, lot here, it's going to be in the description below. But as always, make sure you do your own adjustments to your clips and to the lot as well. And also another thing I told you on the other color grade was you can go into this, um, the lot and just um, adjust the opacity of the of the lot. Okay. You can go here and adjust the occupancy of the lot. See? 50% for some of you. Some of you would want, you know, 100%. So you can go in the occupancy on the control effects and adjust the occupancy of the lot when you get it. Okay, when you download it, you can adjust that. And uh, you can go to the clips and uh, do what you want to do here. For me, I, I go to the individual clips. In this case, I'll probably go down some on the on the whites for this clip. That's perfect. Go to the next clip. Go down on the whites as usual. Make it nice and subtle. Next clip. Go down some on the highlights. And then some on the whites. And then saturation, just a pinch up. Probably like that for this clip. Go here to the next one. That's kind of similar. So you just copy and you paste. Yep, Lumetri, bow. And then you go to this clip here. This clip, wait, what happened here? With this, I would want to put the whites up some. Probably like right there. A little bit of this. I would go here. Turn down the saturation. Probably like 96. And uh, mess around with the whites a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Go here. Okay. Hmm. Put the exposure up some. Go to this clip. Saturated. Already can tell just from looking. Go to the next clip. Turn down the exposure there. I'm sorry, the highlights. I think we're good. So this is low key, dude. This is the low key lot, guys, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, that's that low key lot. So I think this is perfect, guys. This is perfect. Just look at those greens compared to there. It's the same thing, guys. Nice greens there. See the greens? And then, of course, you can stabilize your shots and whatnot. But my main thing was the color grading. So I think this is very similar to low key guys. So that's the low key lot guys. That's the low key lot. So if you guys want this low key lot guys, um, it's going to be in the description below. It's going to be with the other eight lots plus this lot and the Witcher lot. So be sure to subscribe if you've not yet. And if you like this series, please leave a comment and uh, recommend some more um, future color grades 
I would take your recommendation seriously. And also, uh, also you can just click the like button to show me that you enjoy this kind of content or else I might just switch up the series and start doing something else. So let me know if you guys like these um, color grading challenges. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.